So I built an emotion detector system using PyTorch and OpenCV. And today we're going to test it out on five different players actually reacting to Novak Djokovic's visa ban. So we began first by importing all our Python required packages for this tutorial. And then we went ahead to actually initialize our argument parser. And what this does, it just helps us, you know, pass inputs through our command line. So as you can see, we have first the path to our video frame, and then we have like, you know, the path to our train model, which is seen in the last tutorial. And then we have the path to the deployed prototext.txt mode architecture, as you can see it over here. And the path to our cafe model, which just contains our model weight, as you can see over here. And finally, we have like the confidence parameter. And what this does is that it just helps us filter out weak detections. So the goal behind this tutorial is actually coupled the phase detection model and as well as our trained emotion detector that we've seen in the last tutorial in order to analyze the constant flow with states of different humans while giving a comment to Novak situation. So we went ahead first by loading our phase detection model and also as well as our emotion detection model, as well as, you know, initializing our emotion dictionary, which just helps us in like mapping different target variables in Python, which we will see later. So over here, we just initialized like the pre-processing steps that are actually going to be applied to our image. So during runtime, and the whole process is just to convert our image from a NumPy array into a PIL format and then convert it into grayscale. So from an RGB image into a grayscale format, then resize the image into a 48 by 48 pixel. And finally, just convert the data type into a tensor so it can actually be fed into our PyTorch model. So over here, we just initialize our video stream. And as an input, we specify, you know, the path to our video file. And on this line over here, we're just going to iterate over through every single frame within our video file stream. And then we're just going to check if we're able to get any frame within our video capture. So if we're able to get any frame, then we're going to continue the process. However, if we're not able to get any frame, then we're going to just completely exit out of this while loop. So what I've done over here is that I've just resized our current frame to have a height of 720 pixels as well as a width of 720 pixels. And what goes on over here is that it just resize our image while preserving the aspect ratio. So I already made a video tutorial and also have a written text, which you can see on the screen. And also I will leave the link to this tutorial right on the screen and also as well as in the description below. So over here, I've just like made a copy of this frame and then just, you know, reverse the color channels. And over here, I've just, you know, initialized an empty canvas, which we're going to use later on to output the probability distributions of different emotion states that we can identify. Then from here, I've just like grabbed the image width and height, resize the frame into a 300 by 300 pixels, and then converted the current frame into a blob using the CV2.DNN module. So what happens over here is that we just set the generated blob as an input into the neural network that was loaded and then apply the open CVs deep learning base phase detector. to actually find the number of faces in the input image. So after we've been able to detect and localize the faces, what's going to happen is that we're going to iterate through the detections and then grab the confidence value in order to filter out weak faces below our minimum threshold that we've actually set. So as a default, we actually set this to 0 0.5. However, you can play around with this parameter. And then we went ahead to extract only the coordinates of the detected faces and then multiply by this array, which ensures that our bounding box is large enough for the preceding steps, which we'll see now. And then we just, you know, converted those coordinates that we've gotten into an integer. And as an output over here, we have like a triple. So we have like our start X and start Y coordinate, and as well as also our end X and end Y coordinate. So what happens over here is that we just grab the region of interest. So basically that's the face. So we just crop that specific region that we need. I also have a tutorial about how to crop using OpenCV. So you can check that out and then apply the data transform technique. And this technique is what you've seen here. We've converted the image into a pill format 
grayscale resize into a 48 by 48 pixel and finally convert the data type into a tensor and what happens over here is that we just add like a new dimension so instead of our image to be in this format the color of channels the height and the width and what's going to happen is that we're going to have the number of batch so it's going to be one the channel the height and the width of the image and then we just send our image to any available device so if you have GPU, it's going to be sent to the GPU. However, if you don't have GPU, it's going to be sent to work on the CPU. So what happens over here is that we're going to infer that face that we've actually cropped and done a bit of pre-processing on. We're going to infer that face into our emotion detection model, which is then later converted into probability values. And over here, we just got like the prediction with the highest probability and also as well as the list of predictions along with the associated labels. And then we've just, you know, drawn the probability distribution on the empty canvas, which we've initialized over here. So over here, we just like created like the text format on what we want to output. Then we just drew like a rectangle and also added like a label on that same empty canvas. And over here, what happens is that we just draw a rectangle on the detected face and beside that rectangle we're going to output the current emotion state as long as with the probability value and then we just display those results to our screen and yeah it just waits for a key cue to be pressed on the keyboard before all the windows are actually been destroyed and then we just cleaned up our video stream so to go ahead to execute the script on the command line what i'm just going to do is just copy all these parameters that we've passed click on edit config and then just paste it over here. Click the apply and OK button, then just click run. And then you can see our results over here. All right, so I don't intend on making this video too long. And if you've enjoyed this video up until now, be sure to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you turn on all notifications so that you get an update on when next I post and I'll appreciate that. Thank you.